guys, I've got you a non-fiction book today and it's about caterpillars and butterflies. So a non-fiction book means it's not a story and this one is by Stephanie Turnbull and designed by the Lupe Hussein, illustrated by Roseanne. So, as we know, all non-fiction books have a contents page at the front. This has got pages where we can find things out and at the back there is an index. So if I want to find out about eggs, for instance, I look alphabetically for eggs and I can see that on page four to five and six to seven, there'll be some information about eggs. Non-fiction books don't have to be read in order. So I'm just going to read you some of these pages. Amazing insects is our head in there. Butterflies are flying insects with beautiful wings. They begin life as caterpillars. This is a peacock butterfly. The spots on its wings look like the marks on a peacock's tail. I think that's that one I showed you the other day that I spotted in my garden, isn't it? It's got the same colourings. Tiny eggs. Butterflies lay eggs on leaves and twigs. The eggs are sticky so they don't fall off. And here's a fact box here. Some butterflies lay more than a thousand eggs in just a few weeks. Many eggs have a thick rough covering. A caterpillar is growing inside each egg. They'll be ready to hatch in a few days. Butterfly eggs come in different shapes and there's some illustrations and pictures to show you. So some eggs look like round pearls. Other eggs are long and thin and a few hang like beads on a string. So when you're out looking for your bugs, see if you can find any different types of eggs hanging from the leaves. Another head in, hatching out. A caterpillar bites a hole in its egg and wriggles out. This cabbage white caterpillar is hatching. You can see other tiny caterpillars still inside their eggs. Can you see those there? And then we've got some pictures. Non-fiction books use pictures to help us understand the information better. So it says, first the caterpillar eats its egg. This gives its energy. It is still hungry, so it eats the leaf. The egg was on. Then it moves on to eat more leaves. And a fact box. Caterpillars have strong jaws. They can munch through a leaf in seconds. Oh, it's a good one. Lots of legs. All caterpillars have 16 legs. I didn't know that fact. So when you see a caterpillar in your garden, see if it's true. This is an emperor gum moth caterpillar. The front six legs are stiff and pointed for grabbing food. The other legs are fatter. They have suckers for clinging onto stalks and twigs. Some caterpillars move along in big loops. The front part of the body stretches out. Then the back part lifts up and moves up to meet the front. I wonder if you could do a caterpillar move. Stay away. Birds and insects like to eat caterpillars. Many caterpillars have patterns on them, their body to help them hide. This geometric moth caterpillar looks just like a twig. It does, doesn't it? Says fact box, some caterpillars make a horrible smell that keep other animals away. Many caterpillars try to look scary to frighten the enemies. Oh, look at this one. Puss moth caterpillars rear up to look big and fierce. Sweet oil caterpillars eat poisonous plants and this makes them taste bad to the birds. Very clever, isn't it? Big eaters. Caterpillars eat all of the time. They find a plant they like and eat until it's gone. These caterpillars are called large whites. They only like to eat cabbage leaves. Mr McCandless doesn't like those in the garden. Caterpillars soon grow so fat that their skin is too tight and starts to split. They wriggle out of the old skin. Underneath is a new stretchy skin. This swallowtail caterpillar has a brand new skin. It leaves the old one, there it is, behind and there's its new one. It's very clever, isn't it? Fact box. Most caterpillars change their skin four times and each time the patterns are more interesting. Time to change. This is our life cycle and stage. Some caterpillars are ready to turn into butterflies. First, a caterpillar finds a safe and sheltered place. It hangs upside down using hooks on its body. Its skin splits and falls off and underneath is a new skin. The skin gets harder and harder until it's like a case. The hard case is called a pupa. A pupa hangs without moving for weeks. Inside, the butterfly is growing. 
back box, some caterpillars hide inside a rolled up leaf before they turn into the pupa. A new body. When butterflies are fully grown, they are ready to break out of the pupa. You can see these butterfly's wings inside the pupa. A butterfly slowly pushes itself out of the pupa and then it stops to rest. Its wings are pale, damp and crumpled. Butterflies have to let their wings dry before they can fly. This monarch butterfly must wait a few hours for its wings to spread out and get stiffer. Isn't it clever how it's come out? Fact. But butterflies don't grow after they have hatched. They stay the same size all of their lives. Up and away. Butterflies are always moving around. They never stay still for long. All the butterflies have four big wide wings. One, two, three, four. They flap all of the four wings together. The wings are covered in tiny scales. You can see them under a microscope and that's what they look like if you were close up. Fact. Some butterflies flap their wings 70 times every second. That's like one. Come on, 70 times in that time. What is a moth? And I think that is like the one I saw, wasn't it? With those like eye patterns there. A moth looks a lot like a butterfly, but it's not the same. This emperor moth has smaller, narrower wings than a butterfly. Fact, hawk moths can fly much faster than you can run. Most moths fly at night when there are not so many enemies around. This is a Madagascan moon moth. Moths have fat furry bodies to keep them warm on cold nights. They have feathery feelers that sense objects in the dark. How do they feed? Feeding. Butterflies and moths feed on juices from flowers or fruit. Instead of a mouth, they have a long thin tube called a proboscis. They drink through it like a straw. Fact. Asian vampire moths can prick an animal's skin and drink its blood. The proboscis is usually curled up. It uncurls when the butterfly drinks. When butterflies are thirsty, they often suck up drops of water from the damp ground. Vanishing Act Lots of animals like to eat butterflies. Some butterflies have patterns that help them to hide. Is this leaf butterfly keeps still? Enemies think it's a leaf. Can you see it there? Look, just on the edge. Fact, glasswing butterflies have see-through wings which make them hard to spot. This hair street butterfly is easy to see as it flies. And its wings are green underneath so it can hide when it lands. Good camouflage. This orange tip butterfly looks like the flowers it feeds on. It does, doesn't it? Showing off. Some butterflies are poisonous so they don't need to hide from their enemies. Bright markings on this swallowtail butterfly warn animals that it tastes bad. Fact. Some butterflies have big spots like eyes on their wings to make them look scary. These butterflies both look poisonous to animals, but the one on the left is harmless. It copies the poisonous butterfly's pattern. That's a very clever skill to have, isn't it? Copying. This moth has a fat body and small wings, and enemies think it's a bee, so they leave it alone. That's really good, isn't it? Big and small. Butterflies and moths come in all shapes and sizes. Atlas moths are the biggest moths in the world. Each of their wings is wider than a page of this book. The smallest butterfly is called a pygmy blue. This is its real size. This is a zebra swallowtail butterfly. Many swallowtails have long wings that make them look bigger. This helps to protect them from enemies. Birds often snap at the butterfly's dangling tails instead of its body. The butterfly has a chance to escape, losing a bit of its wing isn't hurt. And then we've got a glossary of butterfly words. Oh, some noisy dogs outside. Of words that we might need. So, hope you enjoyed that book, guys. A little bit of non-fiction info. See you soon.